Yes, hjertelig velkommen, og velkommen til semifinalen. Arian, han styrer showet, men uh, som nordmann, så må jeg ønske han lykke til, og uh, bare guff på. Du snakker vel på engelsk en antar jeg, men uh, lykke til. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, welcome to another show, show guys. Uh, looking forward to my match against uh, Jordan. Yesterday was, was fun against uh, Bartel. So today up, up uh, against uh, another very strong player. He won his match yesterday against Sebastian Mazet. And uh, so we are in the semi-final. The winner now plays against uh, Rauf Mamedov or Robson. So he goes E4. Let's go E5. Goes D3, Knight F6. F4, wow, very aggressive stuff. Okay, let's take, I don't know about this F4, but can't be too bad to take it. Should I go D5? Knight C, or should I go Knight C6? Should probably not spend too much time. Okay, let's start with Knight C6. Goes Bishop E2. Hmm. Let's go bishop c5 and I will try to play d6 next and obviously I can play knight f3 and play for some d4 but maybe I play bishop b6 and I'm hitting e4 so maybe it's playable. d6, d4, bishop b6, okay I'm not sure about that but let's, let's just go for it. Yeah, he, all, he just goes knight c3. Do we castle here? Let's play h6 for now. Just don't give him any bishop g5 stuff. d4, maybe bishop b4. We'll see. Goes knight a4. Hmm. So he wants the wants the bishop pair. Logical should I play bishop b6. I don't really want to let him take on c5 in that way. So do I have any other moves than bishop b6? Okay, let's let's just cast. Like he can take. It's probably what he wants. But maybe now I have the d4 square. It goes cast. Let's go bishop b6. Should try to speed up. Shouldn't be lower on time. Let's go b3. Solid move. Let's go knight d4. If he takes, I will take with the queen and maybe thinking maybe knight d7. But okay, uh, c7 c7 is hanging, so I should. Probably think about that first. Let's go rook c8. Goes queen e1. D2 surprises me a bit. Let's go knight d7. Queen e3 or queen d6. Queen d6 looks okay, I guess. Try to put a knight on e5 and play f6, maybe. a4. Okay, I'm not sure what a4 does. Let's play rook e8. Maybe f5 could be possible. Let's play knight e5 for now. Page five. Let's go knight g six. Okay, he's having some pressure here with the bishop pair and uh I'm slightly passive. Maybe I should have played the f5. Maybe now I can try to play f5. 
So I can take with the rook and at least get some activity. Okay, f5 is of course uh, risky as well, but now at least his bishop on c3 is kind of dead. So if I get to play bishop c6, okay, he can maybe take a7 too. I just wanted my bishop on this diagonal. So what happens if I go knight h4 now? Let's find out. Okay. Let's play queen g6. It's probably has queen f2 though. No, sorry, of course he doesn't have queen f2, but maybe rook rook f2, I will try to play f4, but yeah, this first game isn't going going well. I just have to hope for some some miracle. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I've what I've been doing. G3, I have knight f3, rook f2, I will try to play for f4 and f3. At least he's thinking. But if we talk objectively, he should be doing well, I think. Okay, he's just gonna take. Can I play f4? He goes queen f2. So that's not. Bishop c6, he goes back. Let's play bishop c6. Maybe he wants to take the pawn on a7 too. We will see. But then I will try some queen g4 and for some attack. If I get my queen in the diagonal, that should be nice, of course. f4 now, he takes. But f4. It's kind of surprising. He just goes for the run. Check here or queen g4. Cool rook f2, I guess. King e1 really just gives me this. It's kind of surprising. So rook f3 now. Let's try rook f3. Okay, I want to draw, but I think I'm doing well. Let's repeat once. Queen h3, maybe there was like bishop f3. Maybe. Or bishop g2. No, bishop g3 has rook f2. Let's try this move though. Here. Hmm. So let's check and take here. Take here, isn't this winning? Okay, just shouldn't mess this up. Start, okay, he's trying to get his bishop in the diagonal. Let's start with a move like this. Let's just go h5 here. Let's check here. Go here. Oh, maybe he can take on g7 now, by the way. It's so stupid by me to allow that. Should 
sure what's happening here. So made a made a mess out of this, but probably still ahead. Jordan is good in pawn and games though, so it's not. He will try to trick me for sure. Takes takes king h3 d5 here. Sh feels winning. So have to be slightly careful about not allowing b6. Here, that's winning. Okay, <laughs> it was definitely kind of lucky first game, but we will take it next game. Let's go e4. Scandinavian. Okay. Yesterday I faced Queen D8. What Queen A5 is uh, uh, yeah known to be a better move. Let's play Bishop C4. Bishop D2. Is this the old main line? They go knight d5 at some point. Wait, knight d7 here? What happens after knight d5? I think he mixed up, no? Didn't Jordan just mix up? I think they go c6 first and then knight d7. Okay, getting very lucky, very lucky start. Okay, now we will have queen up for me again. Let's try to play it better than the last game when I won the queen. It's cost long. Maybe just logical chess rookie one, but maybe he wants knight e4, so. Okay, knight e4, I will go rook e2, I guess. Let's go king b1. I really want to play knight d2 and then play f3. That's my goal. If I don't blunder anything. f3, just remove his knight and then it should be good, I guess. The f3 now. And takes. Let's take like this. Go G3. It's trade. Is it a fortress? We will we will find out. Let's go here. Okay, this I missed, of course. Let's take here though and. Okay, has to be still winning for me, but now okay, yeah, has some some hope maybe. Do we take on d5? King takes. Does that work for him? Probably somehow sur surviving there. Or e5, maybe e5 is good, then c4. So he's gonna play rook d8 though. Let's go here. I'm really not sure what I'm doing here, but. Go here. It's gonna go f4 and maybe g4. This 
the worst technique ever, of course, but okay, let's try to bring the king now. King to G d3, queen g4. I mean, objectively, it's still winning, but uh, yeah, <laughs> should have won easier, of course. Rook h8, I give a check. His king is kind of weak, which is his problem. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a fortress, but of course he's, he's fighting. Should we start with giving this check. H3 looks logical. Let's go here. Rook F7, we have E6. Yes, let's go King D3, F3, I go King E3. So let's go here. Give me the King to F3, G2. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna collapse for black. King G2, and oh, then he gets F3, so maybe just A4, maybe B5 next. Let's give this check. E6. Now let's go here. Then go here. Go b5, we'll take, take, I will take on d5. Then I will take on b7, he will take on h3, I will run up with my king. I think, my, I think I'm faster here, I think my c-pawn is running as well, so here now. King g6, I guess, looks good. f3 is also hanging. Give this check first. Let's take here. Rook f4, I'm gonna go queen d5. And then try to run with my pawns. Bishop c7, queen d7 is good. Here, just c6. Queen d7 is coming, so I guess it's the end. Perfect technique. It's a good thing about being queen up. Even if you played so bad, you still you still win. Okay, let's give this check and go e6. Okay. Perfect start. D3 was a huge success previous game, so of course he's gonna play it again. And A3, this this is busting E4, E5 basically, so shouldn't repeat E4, E5 after the previous game. C4, and my bishop is almost trapped, so it's troubles. Bishop d4 is going to go rook a2. Not sure what I'm gaining with that. So let's just go d6. Logical move. 97 looks fine. This, go maybe bishop g4. Or, okay, let's go bishop g4. I mean, usually they just take and jump jump in d to d4 to the d4 square. Not sure if I should include a5 b5 first. Let's. Hmm. I could play knight d4 
immediately too. Not sure if it's good, but takes, takes, and try to take on e2. We will see. Maybe he can. Maybe he will castle. It should be three. Okay, let's take. Maybe c six. Or take everything. Don't really see a reason to take everything. So let's just do this and castle. Maybe it's going to go bishop g4 or something. I'll go a5. I think my position is fine. Let's see. Maybe he will go g3, bishop g2. It's also kind of typical. b5. Could play very active with f5 here too. Take, c takes, not sure what I'm gaining. a4 is not possible. d5. Uh, let's go d5. Takes, takes. Maybe it's just gonna go knight a4. Takes. Do we go rook b8? Okay, let's go rook b8. Again, lower on time, which which isn't great. Okay, bishop g5 surprises me. What happens if I go f6? Don't really see what's going to happen to me. So let's go f6. Should be three, but I'm not sure f6 is such a bad move. Let's go here. Maybe I should include some king h8, not to be in some. Annoying pin, but I think at the moment he doesn't have any kill in the in the pin. I mean, queen b3 is not possible. So, bishop a4. King h8 is the time for king h8 now. F5 is also a move. Okay, let's just uh, speed up here. We rook C1 they will play. Let's let's just play. Let's just play like H6 and take it from there. I wanted to play F5. Maybe it was the right moment to play F5. Let's try try this move now. Let's take it. Oh, actually, I can probably take on. Take and take on a. I was thinking I have some knight g3, but he takes and takes on a5 immediately. It's not really working the way I was hoping. Try this move. Yeah, very unnecessary. No. Doesn't work. Let's start with this. He's going to go queen b4. OK, 
really not sure. He's probably going to go knight a4 now and claim pawn up. I'm going to go rook c6 then and try to fight with the pawn down. It's not ideal. Rook a8, I will try to put some pressure on the a pawn. Start with this move. Actually, didn't he? Wasn't Rook Fe one a bad move? Like, where is he going with his knight now? Let's take. He takes Rook B3. His pin is annoying, I think. Go here or yeah, let's go here. Maybe he's gonna try to pin me now. Okay, let's take it. Go rook f6 so I can move away. Rook g6 now. Oof, maybe he has this move. Try this. Knight e3, knight d4, but it's just... Yeah, out of hand, hands only. Okay, he's gonna try to mate me now. Let's bring the rook here. Try to mate him instead. It's not gonna be easy though, rook d2. Let's take here. I mean, it's dangerous of course, but let's try. Knight e7, king h6. Knight e7, king g5. What's going on? Uh, do I have a move here, maybe? Yeah. Let's give a check here. I'm uh, really not sure what's going on. Here. Okay, he's trying logical here, maybe. Oof, I blundered that. That was very stupid. So bad by both of us. Let's go H4, is it possible? Here. Okay, let's see if I can hold this one. So always tricky and blitz uh, here. Jordan is a very good end game player, so he's he's very good at trying to win these things.
already slightly strange what I did. Let's go here. Here. Did I do? Let's try to get a knight to e six now. Still draw. Not blunder. King G7, let's go King F7 maybe. No, let's go here. Somehow he's getting my pawn now, I think. Okay, it's still a draw, of course, but now we have another game. Knight c6. Let's go here. Maybe the longest game in the Banter Blitz Cup. Is not what I wanted. I think Erwin Lamy lost this once to Magnus in Vicon Z. Polgar also lost it to Kasparov, I think. So, of course, it can happen in Blitz. I think in general the way to draw it is to just keep the king and knight together. I 
you already had this position probably. Let's go here. Now, did he trick me? Oh yeah, I think that was 50 times, same position. Okay, crazy game. So we're probably winning and, and losing, but I guess draw is fair result. So one second. Okay, here we go with the fourth game. Let's see, okay, it goes neither of, let's try bishop c4, queen e2. Knight c6, let's stop this bishop g4. Bishop b3, do they play, or they maybe they cast, okay, let's just play bishop b3, don't give him any knight e4 stuff. Let's go c3 and then castle. Okay, goes d e5. That's also a way to play. I guess I will go for rook d1 and try to prepare d4. Maybe we'll go rook e8. We'll see. This should be six, so I can go d4 now if I want. Yeah, let's just do it. He can take on b3. Maybe that's not the structure you want, but okay. Should be playable, I think. He's gonna go queen b6, probably some immediate pressure against b3. Queen d3 looks logical to stop both, and he's gonna go knight d7, I think. Rook d3 also looks logical. I guess knight c3 is, I thought, a threat, but uh, probably he can take knight d5, queen b5, then have knight c7. I'm not sure I want to calculate all those stuff. Bishop b3, queen c6. Bishop g5 is also a move. Maybe bishop g5, or oh, then I run into knight e4. Okay, not sure. I can also try to transfer my knight to c4. Hmm, it's somehow it's not ideal. Okay, let's just play this move, I guess. Oh, but I'm not sure, he's gonna go bishop f8, so. Okay, let's play, it looks, looks strange what I'm doing now, but I'm just not sure. Bishop f8, I will go knight c3, knight d5. Just goes d5. Can I take? Oh. Okay, uh, this this became the opening became kind of disaster.
Okay, I think I have to give give material now. Just uh, e five. Just everything after queen b six was just working against me. So I don't know. D six. Hoping for some bishop d4, maybe if he takes bishop d4. And he takes on d5. Yeah, I don't know what to do. E4, I will take and play knight e4, but I'm probably yeah, just spending too much time in this game and playing awful, so quite bad. At least b4, I can take twice on f6 and hope for some checks. Yeah, I guess some hope for some perpetual there. Maybe he go rook d6, we'll see. Rook d6. Okay, then I can go bishop f4 maybe. Let's go bishop f4. But now maybe he goes rook d7 and he has some sort of better version of stuff. Go here. If it goes like rook b6, then I think I can at least push my pawn and hope for a miracle. Okay, goes for this. Do you have it anything better than pushing? Let's just push. Here. Just take. Rook d8, I guess. Let's go here. D5, just don't want to give him an A5. But yeah, this is lost, of course, with some good play. Let's go here. Okay, probably he's gonna go after my C pawn now, or yeah. Just hoping for some checks with rook h8, rook f8. This one was surprising. Let's take here. Let's go here. Hoping for a miracle, rookie seven. D seven. It's very strange. I think I'm actually holding in a miracle way. Rook G eight is probably gonna try. Go here. I thought I had bishop uh, c7, but I don't. But let's, if I take that, also doesn't work. So, still drawing chances. Let's go here. C7. 
take, check, h4, king g2. We're at another end game. I play rook h3. <laughs> I don't know why I gave that pawn. That was, yeah, strange. Yeah, probably objectively a draw, but it's anyway, it's going to be very hard, difficult to save it. Okay, but this check is not helping much. Let's go here. Oh, why did I go here? I don't know. I was playing it so badly suddenly. Can't explain my moves. Just a disastrous game. Yeah, now f4 is winning, yeah. Okay, good game. Yeah, I was, yeah, definitely misplayed it there. It should, bro I mean, I, I was, of course, dead lost, but then he gave me a chance, so it should have been a draw. But okay, doesn't matter. Let's go for the next game. I don't think I was doing badly the previous game, so I will just repeat that. D6. Bishop E3 this time. Let's take. Castle and just play f5, just try to play logical chess. Okay, f4 is maybe strange, who knows? Just was thinking about bishop g4 taking on f3 and getting my knight to d4. That was my plan. Okay, let's take. So I go knight d4. Okay, let's try knight d4. Maybe my d4 pawn will be weak. I thought I have some activity because he hasn't castled. We'll see. I just castles, he doesn't care. Okay, let's take. Let's take again. Maybe just c6. Should be equal, I think. It's probably gonna get, get the, give the check on b3.
I feel like queen b3 is the only move. Queen b3 and then rook c1, maybe. Just bishop g4. Very ambitious. Let's take, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm thinking, but uh, maybe I should have taken and Queen State, I don't know. Didn't want to run into some checks, so let's go h6, maybe a5 next. He really wants the end game. Do we mind? Okay, let's go for it. Jordan is very strong in end games, but let's try to make the best out of this position. We will both try to bring the king, I guess. It's kind of try to play d4, I guess. Let me try to, then he goes b5. Okay, let me try this. d4 will take in place c5. Yeah, probably I gave him what he wants. This suddenly became very unpleasant. I actually no idea what to do now. Yeah, I just suddenly lost. I guess. Okay, he's gonna play b6. I mean, I'm so low on time too. Rook c6, rook f2. As he's going to play b6, I take rook f2, but it should be lost, I think. Let's go here. Take. Check.
Oh, that's pretty nice. I'm getting mated. Oh, why did I not? Uh, I was made on E8, of course. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, <laughs> clever. Okay, so now it's even. It's uh, I was up to a very good start, but just the last game, that end game, I shouldn't have lost. And this game was also just very sloppy in the in the Rukian game. So I have to play better. Let's go E4. Goes for the Scandinavian again. This time he's going to play C6 probably. Yes. It should be seven, I guess. Maybe I can try with knight h4. Try to go for the bishop pair. Okay, queen c7 is knight h4 still possible? Let's try. Yes, it's just going to go bishop g6. Let's take. Queen f3. It should be seven. It's probably going to go long cast light. OK, I'm not sure. Maybe he's going to go short. Who knows? Anyway, let's just go rook b1. So if he castles long, I will go b4, b5 and try for, for my play. OK, a5 now is probably not going to castle uh, long anymore. Let's go a3. Let's go bishop d3. If he takes on b4, I can take on b5. Probably gonna take with his knight. I'm gonna play c3, I think. Let's go g3. If e5 will take and play for bishop e4. Otherwise, in general, maybe I will play like h4, try for some h5. Let's go h4. Probably going to double. I will take and play h5. So where do we go to h4, maybe? Try for some bishop g5, and or maybe just king g2, rook h1. We will see. I think I should be a bit better. Like if he goes bishop e7, I think I can probably even just go king g2. It he goes here, let's go bishop g5. So okay, if I take, take, check, doesn't help me, he's escaping. So what about king g2 then? Let's try. Okay, so he's gonna play for queen d5. Let's try c4. 
really feel like I should stop queen d5. c4 is generally another move you want to do, but now it's all matters of dynamics, I think. It's, it's yeah, it depends if I can mate him or not. Like, if he goes rook c2 now, I will go rook h1. Goes king f8, probably give a check and play like rook h7, I guess. I think I'm doing well, but it remains to be seen. Let's go here. So check, rook h7, he will take. So let's look, check, knight g8, check, rook h7. Does, what does he play there? Can take on d4, that's a problem. Okay, not sure what to do. D5 sounds. Okay, let's see. This may be stupid. I just don't want him to give him queen d4 in some variation. So I'm going for this. If it takes now, I will check and go for. I go for rook h7, but I just realized he maybe has. Uh, maybe he has just queen a7 now. I thought I have bishop e3, but I don't, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Just very sharp, but probably queen a7 is possible. Okay, it just doesn't care. Let's give a check and go for this then. We'll see, what have I missed? Isn't this very good for me? Queen g8, for instance. Rook f7 is in the air. He should be winning for me now. Rook f7. Rook f8. Okay, he's trying to escape. Take, take. Let's go here. And then here. Maybe I can take e6 next. Should be winning, I think. Pro is going to take on d5 and play that. Yes. Should be two. Should g4. And now it's time to resign. Okay, very tense. Three and a half, two and a half. So, yeah, I got up one point, but anything, anything can happen, of course. Let's go for the seventh game, I think. This is our match in D3. He's just killing me in this system. And this time he goes. This next, previous time I think he played A3, so now not repeating the same. If I go a6 here, is he going to take on d5? Probably. Let's just go here. It's probably going to knight a4. But okay, I will 
let him take and we will play that position. He has the bishop pair, but in general, I also have uh, some squares, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's go castles. Here, probably castle, I will go maybe a6, or maybe a5 is more precise. He's gonna take. At least I'm active and kind of solid here, so shouldn't be bad, I think. So how do we play here? F6, bishop e6, or maybe. Bishop e6 first, he goes knight g5, so let's go f6. Gonna go f4, natural. Let's go here. We will we'll give him f4. I will take and play queen d7 and try to jump with my with my knight. Let's go here. Maybe here. Maybe knight h4. He will play, and then I go knight d4. I'm not sure. I think I should still be solid here, but. Let's see. Let's take. Maybe now we will take with a G pawn and try to be creative. I think I should be fine. F5 or something. I know him. I know what he likes. Okay, now he's going to punish me for F5. But I shouldn't be too pessimistic. Okay, yeah, honestly, I, mean, I forgot about bishop e5. That was kind of stupid. Let's go here now. Bishop b2, I will go back. At least he's not in the diagonal anymore. I think I sh I'm still okay. By the way, bishop b2, there might be some f e4. So maybe I should go to c3. We will see. I mean, if I can take on e5, then I should be happy, I think. Let's go here. Maybe rook f6. Yeah, I mean, he's also weakened his king, so it's double-edged, I think. It's very important that my knight is on d4. If that diagonal opens up, I'm just dead, so I have to always be careful about that. Queen c6, a move. Not sure what it does, just trying to be annoying, I guess. Maybe some rook h6 is possible. Rook takes. e5, I think I have bishop d5. He's maybe going to play bishop f3 there and. Okay, goes with this one. If I take and play like queen d7, let's try that. Trying for some bishop f5 and be uh, try to not get mated. Bishop f5. Okay, logical. Threatening queen f6, by the way, which wins immediately. It's 
Queen E6 move. Let's try. Ooh, I'd be missed Bishop. No, Bishop D5 I can take. Always gets get scared of such things against Jordan. He's very tricky. I mean, I'm sure I'm fine here, but uh, it's it's a tricky position. Let's try. If I take, he takes, and then I think he's happy about that. Let's try here. Probably gonna play like bishop f3. Bishop f3, maybe I go rook e6. Let's try rook e6. Maybe he will take them. This I can too. Should be e6. It's not really also. Not sure what I should do. I will try. I really want to put some pressure on f4. Some bishop g6 maybe. Okay, he does this, but I don't think I don't have to take. Let's go here. Maybe bishop g6 now. Try to put pressure on f4. Bishop e6, I go queen d6. Let's see what he will do. Rook f5, let's try. What? But I had time, like what happened, Sebastian? Um, I think he lost, um, I think he what lost happened? some time. What, but I had, cl I had time. Yeah, you, you, won, you won the game, it seems. I I had time. I mean, how could I lose on yeah. time? I won the game. You won the game according to my page. But why does it write one zero? I think there's a glitch. We've had this glitch before. <laughs> Crap. Ah, uh, just give me a second. I'm pretty sure I had time. So, and I'm also completely winning in the final position. So. I mean, I had like one minute on the clock. I think so. I think my internet is stable. Yeah, 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 yeah. You won. You won the match for sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just give me a second. I hope you can correct. I hope you can correct the last game. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm getting it clear here. Uh. Just a second. Yeah. You. You won. You won. There's no way you lost because you had. You had a lot of time. You had like way. Yeah. Much, a lot of time. A lot more time. So. <laughs> You're also, uh, you're winning, yeah. dangerous, anyway. Dangerous, dangerous glitch. Yeah, I'm winning. I'm completely winning. I'm winning the bishop. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, just give me, just clarify this. And then we'll go in, proceed with the interview. But I'll do it in the region, because uh, okay. too, too lazy for English. <laughs> oh, I think English is better, no? I don't think I think there's a lot in the regions in the chat actually. Even Magnus was in the chat. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you won. Congrats. Good Thanks. game. Good game. Uh, we proceed with the with the interview. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, it was a crazy match. That's for sure. Yeah, crazy for sure. Of course, I was lucky in the starts. I mean, okay, the. The second game, especially, he just uh, like played too fast in the opening and blundered his queen. And the first game, of course, he had a better position and uh, was looking bad. I sacrificed an exchange and it's just yeah, playing for some miracle, and somehow it just worked out for me. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, had, I was somehow sure I was going to lose the first game. And then I won the first game and I got a gift the second game, and somehow it was 2 0. But then I was playing some very bad uh, games I lost, and then. 
I think the the game I won with White it was very important. The last game. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the first game you were also dead lost, I think. Yeah, of course I was but dead it lost. Was, uh, it was very complicated. Yeah. But like it, when you're up 2-0 and your opponent win two games, the psychology is against you. So. Yeah. Uh, so it was kind of important to turn that and manage to win. Uh, win the win the next game with whites. It was a wild match. I think there were a lot of uh, things where times where it popped up and down, like the valuation. But the last game was pretty pretty good. C4 was a really good move. By far the best move. Because you stopped queen d5, and that was very important. That was decisive. Uh, you remember, right? But you played c4, and then you could not play queen d5. But then the pawn was never on c4 the last game. Or which one are you talking about? When you played c4 and you won with white. Oh, with white. Okay, I thought you were thinking about the last game. Uh, oh. uh, c4? Yes, c4 was, was important. I think d5 was kind of clever, but it was I was very shocked that he just took on b4, because after queen a7, I'm... Maybe black is on the good side, because I thought I have bishop e3, but then I'm just losing after queen e3. So. It was very complicated. I'm just confused. Instead of taking a... You took on g8, but you didn't take on f7 and the queen on d7. I just didn't understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but I thought queen g8 was more... <laughs> clear, I don't know, because, you what? know, Jordan... You win the queen? Jordan... Free queen? On d7? Uh... Wait, how can I check that game? I think it wasn't that clear. You took on g8, and then queen takes f7, queen takes d7. <laughs> Let me check, one second. <laughs> it, it was, was but it, so it happened. Yeah, yeah. It was. But it, does, uh... it doesn't matter. You won anyway. I mean, it was everything won in the position, but... Apparently queen a7 is also that lost for black, but okay. Oh, <laughs> Queen F7? <laughs> yeah, I, I just didn't understand it, but... <laughs> that's, that's very funny, actually. Yeah. Oh, well, you have... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who in the world would not take on F7 in that position. <laughs> yeah, you were like, Queen takes G8, looks fine. Who takes G8? <laughs> but anyway, it, it happens, so... But, um... Yeah, it's, it's typical. I probably, like, it's just that your mind doesn't expect Jordan to... Blunder, I don't know, blunder queen f7. It is, maybe it's just something something with that to do. Maybe. So what do you think about the the Mamadov um, the Mamadov uh, yeah, match that you'll play tomorrow? Ma Mamadov won. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mamadov is of course uh, well recognized as a one of the strongest blitz players out there. So he's gonna be very very tough. Uh, tricky, but I don't think he also he doesn't have the experience with talking and playing at the same time. So I think he's gonna be uh, very interesting. But I think he's definitely the toughest uh, opponent in the in the C group. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's true. That that's true for sure. Uh, so he's very very dangerous opponent. So uh, so it's gonna be interesting. And you know, if you win tomorrow, you are actually in the, the tournament. Wait, what? it's tomorrow? I thought it was on the 12th. Oh, uh, yeah, that that might be true, actually. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. I, I, I don't know when it is, but if you win, you are uh, you are in the tournament. Top 16, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That would be huge, of course. Still have to win. But you've already uh, beaten two strong grandmasters, so you're well on the way. You're well on the way. That that's true. But uh, so you're gonna be like hard uh, preparation. Still a long, still a long match. Uh, I mean, still a hard match ahead. But uh, I mean, hard preparation. I feel like in blitz you don't really prepare so much. Maybe you check the opening for five minutes, your first moves. But in blitz, you, as I said before, you just have to play fast and you have to be lucky. That's 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 what that's all about blitz. I feel. Yeah, you're probably right. There's a question that uh, that says, uh, "How much does talking affect you and your play?" Definitely affects you. I feel like I've experienced. Uh, I've been doing some streaming, and uh, when I do that, I can I can lose a lot of games on on stream, and I feel maybe I play like uh, fifty hundred points less. Well, when I when I talk at the same time, but you will get used to it. I'm very new to streaming, so 
So it will take time before. But I, but I think it's a fun fun experience, and I really like the format. Uh, so yeah, big thanks to Chess Twenty Four for organizing this. Do, do you prefer three plus zero or three plus two? Uh, three plus two I like more because then then it's like a real game. You know, you will not get flagged, and uh, with two seconds on the clock, like you will not flag rook against rook, for instance. Uh, like when it's three zero. It, yeah, sometimes it's, it's just not about chess. It's about having the fa fast mouse and uh, yeah, to to move to move faster. Uh, just three three plus two is uh, yeah, it's better for chess, I think, and also that's why in board blitz, for instance, you will never have three zero. Three three plus two makes a lot of sense. I think. Yeah, that's true. But in general, uh, if you play casual, three plus two is a pain. Yeah, somehow never uh, like nobody plays casual three plus two. Like uh, I've been sometimes trying to play three plus two, and I've been searching for a game in three plus two, but you will never get the game. Maybe you have to wait like one hour, and then you will get a game. So like nobody in the world plays three plus two. It's kind of strange, but I guess people like the the fact that they can flag and they find it fun. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Maybe makes it more enter entertaining without the increments, but for the game itself, it's better to have it. Yeah, no doubt. Well, that was... Um, that's basically it, I think. We will see you again on the channel. Or maybe you will be a, uh, on the English one, I don't know. Either, either one, because I think Mamedov, he streams in Russian. Oh, okay. But we'll have to wait and see anyway. Okay, cool. Looking forward to the match against him. Yeah, it's going to be uh, great fun. That's for sure. Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. Oh, you're welcome. And um, yeah, congratulations. It was a very fun match. Yeah, fun, fun match for sure and very, very tough, but happy to win in the end. Yes. Well, uh, that's uh, that's it. I will probably be back uh, back soon enough with a show or two, maybe tomorrow. Great. And uh, that's it. Take care, guys.